Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Nice hat pin. It's the emblem of a secret society I belong to. But really? Don't be ridiculous. Nice hat pin. Beat it, creep. Yo ho. Oh. Beat it, creep. What's that you're drinking? Large. Get. Lost. Uh, don't look now, but I think there's a leech on your chin. Buzz. Ah. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin' dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's those three clowns at the back table. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. Well, it's definitely a mop. I said not to touch that. You don't use someone else's mop. Why not? The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single, perfect instrument 
that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Looks like a mugshot. Stay away from that picture! Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I have a great sense of humor, and I like long walks on the beach. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet, and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Uh, don't look now, but I think there's a leech on your chin. Buzz. Off. Hi again. Oh, those new pirate leaders are real jerks. They laughed at me. And they won't fund my expedition. Why didn't you warn me? Would you have listened? Of course. Okay, no, probably not. I'm thinking about going on LeChuck's expedition after all. I'm glad to hear you decided to patch things up. No, he doesn't want me on the ship. I'm blacklisted. I'm gonna have to go in disguise. These Shakespearean comedies just write themselves. <laughs> See, 
see anything interesting out there? Change. The future. Are those the names of ships? All I can see is open water. It's what I named my cataracts. Huh. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. Wow, it's worse than I imagined. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? The window's all boarded up. Is that an old toothbrush? The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. It's sad to see the shipyard like this. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. It's a dried up old sea sponge. leaving stress. It's hopeless. It's soft and extra fuzzy. I've got a few coins for incidentals. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. I remember the first time Stan tried to fleece me. The pen is mightier than the sword. is all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? I remember when this place used to be wall to wall with sword training gyms. Now there's nothing but trees. Progress. This was where the fantastic flying Fettuccini Brothers circus used to be. Nothing left but old tent pole holes. Wow, I could have had a totally different future if I'd stayed with them. Warning, 
The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Authenticity is our watchword and our pledge. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town, but I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks, I've got it under control. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. Tell me again about the plank. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Actually, I think I'd rather not hear about that again. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. There's some very tiny writing on it. The display case is locked. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind, it's not important.
That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. Why do you have this big gear? It's from the Melee Clock Tower. Stolen during a pirate raid nearly 75 years ago. It was recently found at an inn on St. Martin, where it was being used to mill corn. I traded some old furniture for it that we had in the back room. Has anyone thought about putting it back in the clock? Nah. If the clock started working, it would only confuse people. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Hi, so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? I'll have a look around. Please do. It's Cracker Mix. Some assembly required. Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. Pirate Times. Editor, Conrad Lee ready to publish your unrecognized genius. doesn't seem interested. Museum of Pirate Lore. Meat Hook's museum is gone. So is the cable to his island. It's just as well, given the worldwide rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shortage.
Lechuk, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. works together. All want their own prize. The curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. Not for me. Someone's very excited I'm looking at this sign. Looks like it's been there forever. Keep up the good work, buddy. Not very practical. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not, but the tourists like them. 
Too bad it's empty. Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No thanks. An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. Next time I'm in a drum circle, this would come in handy. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh-huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. The product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. I've always been impressed by your chair. Thank you. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Can 
you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be, but dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Mele Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. All my merchandise is top shelf. Can't you at least wait until I say what I'm thinking? It's creepy. Wally? Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. I wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you.
Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Tell me again what you need to make me a map to the mop tree. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. Bye. I didn't know you made globes too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. It makes things look bigger. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Ooh, looks chilly up there. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, Rating, Cursed Black Diamond. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. Hey, Wally, what's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. It looks expensive. And shiny. I like shiny. Huh, never seen one of those before. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself.
Hey, Wally. Bye. Hey, kid. Jail is like a bad breakfast. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hello. I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. I've got enough to last me. again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Kid. This is awesome. Now I can open one of the jail cells. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their names should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. I already copied the serial number. It seems to be stuck closed. see anything useful here. I don't see anything useful here. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine. And she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read.
the display case is locked. A classic specimen of Alata needleus, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Ooh, purple flowers. These must be teasel, or alliums, or clematis. A classic specimen of a... Ah. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. 